after a year-long search, police on Long Island believe they have found the remains of Shannon Gilbert. In December of 2011, they finally find Shannon Gilbert. In the thick brush and bramble of Oak Beach, police believe they have found Gilbert's remains. Shannon Gilbert is sort of the sacrificial lamb of this entire tragedy. We went in with the idea that we were going to do this one last time to see if we could find anything, and we did. If not for Shannon Gilbert, these women would not have been found. It's exactly one year to the day since we first started covering this case when the first sets of bodies were found along Ocean Parkway one year later. The woman they've been looking for all along, Shannon Gilbert, police believe they have finally found her remains. And then finally they found Shannon and what was the ultimate stunner in all of this is that they believed and still do believe that Shannon Gilbert was not murdered, that Shannon Gilbert died in an accidental drowning. This may be just a young lady ran into the uh, brush uh, in a hysterical state and uh, fell down and, you know, expired. That's something that I think Shannon's family has always found hard to believe. Until I heard positive confirmation that it is my daughter, I'm going to believe it's not until I know for sure. I think a lot of armchair investigators who've been kind of watching this from a distance find hard to believe. We believe that Shannon Gilbert ran into that area the night that she disappeared. And, it, you know, looking at the terrain, uh, it's very easy to get uh, engulfed with water, uh, muck, and, uh, you know, fall down and not be able to get out of there. Whatever happened to Shannon, she is the reason all these other families have closure, because if there is no Shannon Gilbert disappearing in Oak Beach, then there would have been never any closure for these other families. Mary Gilbert made a tearful pilgrimage back to Oak Beach after detectives told her the news she'd been dreading. This is too hard. I, I can't even talk. I don't, I don't even have words to say how I'm feeling right now. Forever and ever. Amen. Ready, let's go! Shannon's death is controversial in this entire story. The police department stands firmly behind that they have done all of their investigative work and that they believe she died of an accidental drowning. And they are going to maintain that. Police found what they believe were the remains of 24-year-old Shannon Gilbert buried along Oak Beach in Suffolk County. The medical examiner confirmed that grim find today. I don't know what to believe. I think no one knows what to believe. I think it's logical that it's a coincidence. The one thing that has stayed constant is they say Shannon Gilbert was not a victim of a crime. And our condolences to that family on the death of their daughter. Her family, as well as her family's attorney, feel that Shannon may have been killed. The investigation that's taken place so far is, is comparable to something you find in Podunk County. Find this killer before he strikes and hurts and murders someone that you love. There was two autopsies, one that was done privately that says that there was an injury to the bone in her neck, which is associated with strangulation. Shannon Gilbert had a hyoid bone that was that is a horn-shaped bone in your throat that if you break it, you suffocate. The horns were broken. The official autopsy from law enforcement is that it was undetermined how she died. Autopsy results obtained by Eyewitness News Tonight revealed that Shannon Gilbert, a prostitute missing for 18 months, did not have drugs in her system. Some people would say it's a coincidence, while others would say maybe there is a relationship, we just don't know it yet. Forensic scientist Dr. Lawrence Kobolinski says it's likely it's just an outrageous coincidence, though she was missing parts of her fingers and toes and a small bone in her neck, her tox screen negative for drugs. She was a known cocaine user, uh, and the fact that we find no evidence of cocaine again suggests that this tissue is highly compromised. The theory that she was known to have emotional difficulties, she was known to take drugs, and the idea that she had some sort of an episode in that moment, it's all incredibly coincidental, and it's, you know, you couldn't write it in a book. I mean, you couldn't make it up. Shannon was running. She was in fear for her life. Someone was chasing her. Shannon was found without her clothes. I just don't believe she would run 
and a drug-induced paranoia and just strip her clothes all the way off, running naked into the marsh. I've had people say to me and really challenge me on why are we not continuing to hold law enforcement accountable for their investigation into Shannon Gilbert. My argument is, at this point, if they felt that she was part of the pattern, I believe that they would have connected it at this point. There's no reason for them not to. Maybe some will say, well, they don't want to admit that they didn't include her for so long. The Suffolk County Police Department is grossly derelict in its duty, not only to have investigated these murders properly, but also because they failed to protect the lives of these people who are now gone. Doing what we do, I mean, you want to believe officials, you want to believe that the investigators are doing a professional job and have come up with a conclusion that makes sense. And when it comes to Shannon Gilbert, even with all the dysfunction in this investigation going back for more than a decade, it would be really hard for me to believe that so many people have been wrong about this. The mother of Shannon Gilbert is demanding action tonight. Gilbert's body was found last week near Oak Beach. Her mother says local police have done a terrible job, and she wants the FBI to take over the investigation. We are tired of theories. Now we need the truth. This is a woman who had basically devoted her whole life to finding what happened to her daughter. But in the middle of that, she had another daughter, and life at home was not good. And whatever happened, she was stabbed by her other daughter and died. She claimed she was hearing voices and she asked her mother to come over. And her mother dutifully went to her daughter's apartment and was there stabbed to death. Police say her daughter, 27-year-old Sarah Gilbert, is charged with second-degree murder and criminal possession of a weapon. Mary Gilbert was bludgeoned uh, with a knife to death by her daughter her own daughter, Sarah. She's a schizophrenic. You have families who are hurting, families who have all kinds of troubled pasts and history together and mental illness and, you know, in some cases, poverty and desperation. Shannon had an origin story and whatever it was, it, it led to her advertising herself for sex on Craigslist and it led to her dying in a marsh on Long Island. And so the family she left behind wasn't any better off for it. In fact, it just exacerbated the stress that they no doubt had, whatever the stressors were. And in the end, one of Shannon's sisters, who we had gotten to know also, murdered their mom. So it's shocking, you know, it's very upsetting. Friends of Mari Gilbert cannot believe she is dead. Miss Gilbert had blood on her clothing and she was detained by police at the scene. It's crazy that, you know, you would kill your mom. The family attorney uh, said that Shannon's sister, Sarah, never got over the loss of her sister, never got over the trauma of this whole experience. Sarah had been acting in irrational ways, and she had actually been hearing voices, and these voices were telling her what to do. Probably never got over losing her mom, too, to this whole investigation and to her own obsession about what happened to Shannon. We are going to continue to fight as long as we need to until justice is done for our daughter. Now that Mary is dead, we do not intend to give up. Instead, to the contrary, we're going to double our efforts. Life does go on in the face of, of these, these cases that, that take forever to resolve and it's not always pretty. So many people in Shannon's profession are largely ignored and disrespected and disregarded even by most often their own families. Mary was the singular and beautiful exception and she pursued the death of her daughter and attempted and still attempted right up until her death to find the killer. I remember there was a big debate. The debate was that the police say these look to be prostitutes. All four bodies found last month near each other on Gilgo Beach, Long Island. All four were women, all four were prostitutes. And there were people who didn't want to say that. Because why do we have to say that? There were women who were found. Well, I made the argument that, hey, 
this is an indication of who's at risk here. If that's what's happening, the majority are prostitutes and they are just found, who, know, who knew where they lived? They were found buried in the beaches. You know, we should say that. We should let people know. I think there's certainly a bias in life against people who work in the sex trade. You know, it's also clear that a lot of them are victims too, in every way. I mean, they're not just these four women who were the victims of murder. Obviously, they were victims of a violent crime. But even people who sell their bodies for, for sex, are, they're being trafficked by others. I think law enforcement and us as a society have to do better of saying it doesn't matter what you do, what you're involved in. If you have disappeared or if we find that you've been killed, you deserve justice just as much as anybody else because your family is left with that pain. And so it shouldn't matter what you're doing. It's a demand issue as much as it's a supply issue. And so, you know, I think law enforcement is rightly starting to crack down on the people who are buying the services and the people who are employing the women much more than the women themselves. The real perplexing kind of tragedy here in all this is that the FBI does this. I mean, they have whole units devoted to serial killers, and they were kind of kept at bay.